Hey everybody, my name's Dan Fur, and welcome to Synth School. Today I want to teach you about envelopes. So what exactly are envelopes in terms of a synthesizer? Well, to understand envelopes, we first need to understand what modulation means. So I'm going to go ahead and explain that. All modulation means is to change a sound over time. That's it. That's all it means. It may sound complicated by the word, but essentially all it means is to change a sound over time. And so envelopes do exactly that. They alter a sound over a certain time period. And so what's so fancy about envelopes is that the time period that they modulate based on is all relative to when you push the keys. So what do I mean by this? Well, I mean that the envelope is not actually triggered until you hit the key. When looking at the envelope on most synthesizers, we commonly see ADSR, or Attack, Decay, Sustain, and Release. But what do those words actually mean? Well, all they are are the different points in modulation that an envelope has. So an ADSR envelope has four points in modulation. It's Attack, Decay, Sustain, and Release. Now let me explain that in the use of an example. With this example, I'm going to be using the VCA envelope, or the amp envelope, that controls volume. With a VCA, the attack means how long it takes to reach max volume once I hit the key. The decay means how long it takes to reach the sustain level after it's reached max volume. The sustain level is once the key is held down, the max volume that will stay at. And then the release is once I let go of the key, how long it takes for that volume to reach zero. Here we have a sound that has a fairly large attack, a fairly large decay, a bit of sustain, and then a long release. So you can see as I hold down the key, the attack rises, and once it reaches max volume, it shorts down to the sustain level, and that's the decay, and then it stays at the sustain, and then I let go of the key, and then the release rides out. Now envelopes are most commonly used to modulate amplitude or filters, but they can actually be used to modulate almost anything if the synth allows it. Here on my DSi, I actually have a third envelope that allows me to modulate anything I choose. So you can see envelopes can be a very powerful way to modulate your sound over time and give you some very complex tones. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Dan Fur. If you ever have any questions on envelopes, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to answer them. As always, have a good one. Cheers. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date with all the new synth tips and tricks. Cheers.